Men that walk with God are men of faith. Whether you like it or not, the Bible will speak about how much more Enoch walked with God and he was not. The reason why he was not was because he walked with God to a point where he looked more like God. He walked with God to a point where his life could no longer be confined to the standard of the earth. When a man begins to walk with God, he comes to a point where all of God is transferring to him. Enoch was spoken about as a man that walked with God and God took him to heaven, brought him back upon the face of the earth. And while he was in heaven, he was changed, he was transformed. He was put upon him the clothing of the immortals. While he came upon the face of the earth, he found himself he can no longer eat fruit of mankind. Enoch could no longer talk with human beings normally. He talks and enters into heaven language. When Enoch shake you, his hands will not be held by your own hands. Enoch will walk from here and disappear and appear here and walk here and then appear here. The earth could no longer hold him. Your work with, your work with God will require faith. But your faith may not require God. When a man begins to walk with God by faith, the dimension of faith as a gift is given to him. The dimension of faith as a food is given to him. And when that begins to happen, he mount up and become a man that is irresistible. When you touch him, you touch faith. The Bible said that the faith we have today is the faith of what? The Son of God. That is to let you understand that Jesus Christ was not just a man that believed God in faith. But only the man that was given the gift of faith was a man that became faith in himself. And now he can be administered unto you. Do you know that people can have faith in you? The reason why they have faith in you is because faith as a fruit of the spirit is walking inside of you. Men of faith are men that have come to a point where the fruit of the spirit is in their life called faith. A child, when you want to beat a child, he will tell you, my father will beat you. No matter how big you are, his father may be very small. What he has is faith in his father. A child will tell you, my mother will buy me the car. And she knows the mother doesn't have the car. What she just had was faith in the mother. You can come to a poor man can have faith in you. But that's only possible when faith as a fruit of the spirit that will walk in you. I have seen men and women that believe in me and told me, I may not know God, but I have encountered you. To me, you are God. The day you don't believe God, me too, I do not believe God again. It's a dangerous state to be. But I assure you the truth, whether you like it or not, there are men upon the face of the earth that may never actually be able to see Jesus. They will see Jesus through you. Men that God has walked faith in them as a fruit of the Spirit are men that have walked with God over time. This is not just a man that does wonders by the gift of faith. No. These are men that have remained with God. By the reason of their walking with God like Enoch, men can have faith in them. Knowing fully well that as they have faith in them, they are following Jesus. Mind you, your walking with God is supposed to bring you to a point where all of God is revealed and none of you is revealed. There are men that have become so much like the Christ. Now when you look at them, you see the Christ. Every character of the Christ is at working in their life. Those are men that the fruit of the Spirit called faith is working in them. So you can follow those men that they follow Jesus. Knowing fully well that when you follow them, you actually reach the end. There's a slogan recently we used to use. Follow Persever Sabi Road is true. A man that cannot lead you to heaven is not worth following. I don't just follow men that have the gift of faith. I follow men that their faith has become a fruit. When you come close to them, you can see everything that God is in their life. Not hypocrite. Not charlatan. Not men that are waiting to take advantage of everyone. No. How much of God is transcribed inside of you? Men of faith are men that the fruit of the Spirit have been walk upon their lives. The work with God is aroused by your encounter. But your faith may not require one. Every true genuine work with God is predicated upon a spiritual encounter. How God encounters you as a man and bring you among the columns of the immortals. Then, now, you are caused to walk upon a path that is divine. A lot of people have faith but without an encounter. Every faith that is not predicated upon an encounter 
the fruit of the spirit called faith will never be walked upon. Rather, you only have faith as a system of operation. You are following people because they are following. You are born a Christian, so your faith is also a Christian. You are also a Christian. You must come to a point where you are working with God. Your relationship with God is well defined. And now you know God, and now God can relate with you on a personal basis. He can supply his food upon you, and also he can build his food upon you as he supplies his gift upon you. The bedrock of genuine faith is predicated upon our genuine walk with God, guided by his spirit, as I said. You must understand that faith is not foolishness. Every man that walk by faith are not foolish people. They are men that God has helped by grace. And what they do is proceeded by grace. I have never seen a man that did the things he did without the grace of God. Men of faith are men that God supplies grace upon. They are men that are insufficient in themselves and God decides to help them. Do you know that you fail God if God will not help you? I have realized a long time ago that the man that God helps is always better than the man that helps himself. So I have to walk to a point where I give up on myself and allow God to help me. And as long as God has helped me, I know I will be so strong a man that the world can never be able to understand. The best they will write about me is that I am Philip Sephardt and I belong to God. And I'm a man that is helping. And I'm walking with him. And one day, I will not be alone. You must come to a point where you allow God to help you. Paul himself said, I am what I am by the grace of God. That grace was not in vain in that I labor more than they are. That every walking he was doing in faith was because there was a grace supplied to him. No man has ever walked with God without the supply of the grace of God. Your faith is safe is handicap. I have seen how many people have tried to achieve many things by faith and they fail. Your faith may not be able to achieve many more things. Your faith is handicapped if grace is not made available. You will pray and fast and kill yourself. And grace, as long as it's not available, your faith will not be able to lay hold of it. So your faith can never be able to actualize what grace has not made available for you. Everything you do today was because a grace was made available. And because of the supply of grace, you can lay hold of it by faith. That's what the Bible says to everyone is given a measure of grace. Then faith to receive that which grace has made available. When you look at the book of Hebrews 11, it began by defining faith to us. Then told us what men got by faith and what men do by faith. Then towards the end, 